Welcome back. We're excited to have you join us today in our solar electric trailer journey. We've been looking at uh, towing with our Chevy Bolt and we've found some interesting information about what we can share with you, what we can tow with our Bolt. Yeah, you know, uh, Gail's right. She's been doing some great research. She's come across really the treasure trove of information uh, on the uh, Bolt, Chevy Bolt owners group forum. Uh, and there are a lot of people there who are towing things with their Chevy Bolts, which is encouraging. Uh, of course, yeah. there are a lot of a lot of people yeah. on the forum are reminding people that the the owner's manual says that the Chevy Bolt can't tow stuff, uh, but that's not that's, stopping a lot of people yeah. from towing, and and uh, we're inclined to join the ranks of those who cautiously tow something small. Yeah. So we're we're kind of excited about this. Uh, we're approaching it cautiously. Uh, what we see is that a lot of people are are towing small utility uh, trailers very small, uh, but uh, we have found at least one user, uh, yeah. one bold owner who's yeah. towing a little tiny camper yeah. trailer, tiny one. Uh, a little camper uh, And so we know it can be done. And so the question we're wrestling with is how much do we dare tow using a car that isn't, doesn't have a proper formal tow rating? Uh, one of the things that we found is that there are a couple of manufacturers who make tow hitches for the Chevy Bolt. Uh, these have to be customized for each car model, and so uh, they are specific to the Bolt. It's not like uh, they're uh, generic. Uh, they're specific, so that's encouraging, yeah. just yeah. that they exist. Uh, one, the, the, the biggest, strongest of these is rated to hold a 300 pound load on the hitch and tow 2,000 pounds. Now, that's the hitch. That doesn't make the car magically capable of towing more than it could tow. Uh, so there, that doesn't really answer the question of how much we can tow, but it gives us some idea. Uh, if the hitch unit can tow up to 2,000 pounds and a 300 pound tongue weight, uh, th that that may be a guide. Yeah, it's just yeah gives us a range. Yeah, so we're trying to figure out uh, what that can be. And some of the people that we've read have have used numbers as high as five thousand pounds for the towing capacity of a Chevy Chevy Bolt. We're very skeptical of those higher numbers. Yeah, yeah, I don't think we'll go near that. Not even close. Yeah, we have no intention of yeah. testing the, the, those yeah. kinds of limits. But but uh, a lot of people will say that the the Bolt, bolt, not the bolt, the bolt can tow uh, 2,500 pounds or 2,000 pounds. Uh, the hitch maker is saying that its hitch can tow 2,000 pounds connected to a Chevy bolt. But so we, yeah, we're we going to go under that even just to be safe. Yeah, yeah, we've got to. We, we, so a lot of uh, smart people seem to think that trying to keep at 80% of the theoretical towing capacity is a good limit. That would suggest a 1,600 pound cap. Of course, the lower we go, the more our range yeah. is preserved. Yeah. Uh, and so that's a, a, an incentive for us to, to go as light as we possibly can. And the, the lightest trailer we found is under 800 pounds uh, for a little tiny camper trailer. This one's called a camper ruin. We'll talk more about what we're finding on campers in the future, but I, I want to circle back to, to the weight that we, we think we can tow with the bolt. Um, you know, there, there are really two or, or three key issues, right, uh, with towing. And one is the uh, uh, suspension. One is the power to actually, you know, drive a, a car with a a trailer in tow, and then the third is the brakes. And we're confident that if we don't load up the car full of people and stuff, if it's just the two of us in the car with maybe some clothes, that the the uh, suspension will not be overwhelmed by two or three hundred pounds on the trailer. In fact, we would expect that if we're towing a 1,500 pound trailer, that that would only put about 150 to 200 pounds on the hitch, and that would keep the weight on the suspension well within the guidelines for what you would expect to put in the bolt with five people. It's designed to hold five people plus your groceries. 
So uh, I, I think there's room. I think we can do it. Uh, in the suspension. Yeah. Uh, so, so then the next question is the power. And, and Gail, you, you know that this car is a peppy little car, it's isn't it? It's a very peppy little car. You step on the gas and it takes off. Yeah, it's got plenty of room. We used to have a, a, a Nissan Leaf, and, and the Leaf uh, had a much smaller motor in terms of horsepower. Uh, it was it was pretty gutless. Yeah, uh, yeah, it, yeah. You know, it would it would go. Uh, <laughs> you could go sixty miles an hour. Barely, barely. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, it, you know, we, we sometimes referred to the Leaf as a uh, golf cart with yeah. doors. Um, the new Leafs are much better, bigger motors, bigger batteries, uh, and, like the Leaf. They're very comparable to the, or, you know, comparable to the Bolt we have now. But, but we love our Bolt. Uh, it has uh, great range and, and, and all. So plenty of pep. We're confident that it has the juice to tow the truck yeah. or to tow the trailer. So the final piece of that is the braking. And this is actually where I think I have the most comfort because a, an EV has a redundant braking system. Uh, it has conventional anti-lock disc brakes, just like essentially all cars have. So it can stop just by hitting the brakes. But EVs, uh, most EVs, and ours is certainly one, are designed to operate in what's called a one pedal mode. And so uh, you can put the car into one pedal mode, and then when you push the accelerator, of course, it goes. When you take your foot off, it starts to regenerate energy uh, pretty, pretty significantly. And the result is that you can stop the car pretty normally in normal traffic situations just by taking your foot off the gas. You don't have to uh, push the brake at all. And what's happening is it's engaging the motor in a regeneration mode to generate electricity as the motor essentially works in reverse as a generator rather than as a motor. So it's a, a great device. So you can stop the car without using the brakes at all. But the, the car has brakes. So it has a fully redundant braking system, which gives us comfort that we can stop the car even if we're towing a 12 or 1500 pound trailer. So that's kind of where we're, yeah, we're headed. We're looking at, yeah. Now, I think it, it's important for us to say uh, we're not experts. Uh, we're, we've made a decision or are making a decision for us in our situation. Uh, we, we certainly would not encourage other Bolt owners to listen to us. <laughs> yeah. We hope this, our, our hope, our journey is uh, entertaining. <laughs> Uh, but we hope you don't think of this as, as being scientific advice. Yeah, in any, do your research like we've done. Do, yeah. do your research. Yeah, and decide uh, how much risk you want to tolerate with your, with your Chevy Bolt. But anyway, yeah. that's where we are. What we're doing this week is uh, agonizing over yeah. the uh, towing capacity uh. of our Chevy Bolt. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week. Bye.